Hello again. So in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to achieve an effect that it's called scroll motion. And it's, I'll show you now, I have this website template that I made and uh, it's just a one page website. If you scroll down, you see that it, it just it scrolls normal, but this image of the tablet and the coffee and the paper, it's a scrolling at a different speed than the rest of the page. If you see, it's a scrolling actually at a half of the speed of uh, comparing with the rest of the page and it is actually a very simple simple thing to do in adobe muse uh, so you just have to remember that this is not a background image is it's just a rectangle of this size you see this is a um a white box that i filled with the image of this tablet and the coffee is an image that i that i prepared in photoshop first and it's just a, a rectangle with this image as a filling. So I'll show you how it's done in Muse, but it's it's actually very easy to do. So if we go into Muse, I have the, the page ready here. This is just, this image is a rectangle, as you can see. It was a white rectangle that I, I went to the filling options and I chose an image to fill it with an image. If I can, if I can find it here, So it'd be this, this image that I have here. I just filled it with this image. And what I did is I centered the, the image, the position of the image is in the middle and up here, the anchor. And what you do after that, you go to the scroll effects of the filling. See, you turn on motion and I set it to go up and the initial motion going up at 0.5 times, which is half of the normal speed the normal speed is one time so i set it to to scroll at half half of the speed 0.5 and the same for the final motion point uh, point five times now it is important if you see i usually always design design the websites with a with a tablet size so as you can see back here the browser this is the end this is the size of a tablet so that i know if someone builds the the website from a tablet it's going to be it's going to adapt to a tablet size but all the content is within within these limits all the text and all the rest of the images if you see i don't go beyond these lines i don't go out out of the lines because if someone views the website from a tablet device, they won't be able to, to see the parts that are outside the lines. So I put all the content within the lines, but the backgrounds, the, the background images and the backgrounds, I I made I made them as wide as an iMac screen, like it is a very big screen, so that I know that that the website will adapt from tablets to iMacs screens and i'm saying this because all the the images that you use as a background or everything that it's that it goes beyond the line that it goes beyond these lines it has to it has to have the scroll motion turned on and it has to have the motion scroll because if it doesn't if i if i turn off motion in anything that it's that it's beyond the, 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 the tablet limits. If I turn it off, this is what happens. I'll show you now. It opens the website, but, but I have this scrolling bar at the bottom. The, 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 the horizontal scroll bar appears. And so imagine if someone is viewing this from a tablet, which is about this size, they would be able to slide the website with their fingers with the, the slider to, to the sides. And it's not, not only that, but when you scroll, it'll scroll, it'll be funny, it'll lose functionality. So to avoid this, it's important that everything that, that, that you put here, all the, the backgrounds that you put that go beyond the, 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 tablet, the limits of the tablet size, they have to have the scroll motion turned on. And in this case, because I want the website to scroll normally, like when I scroll down, I want the content to go up. So I, you have to put in the initial motion going up one time and final motion going up one time as well. 
and this is important you have to have this into consideration when you are actually playing with it with the scroll with the scroll effects inside the feelings because this uh, 0.5 times is relative to this one time here so I don't know if this is very clear, but I hope if you practice, you try this effect and, and you practice by yourself, you, you'll get it because it's actually it's actually very easy to do. So, well, that was all for this tutorial and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.